Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the Daily Read and this is for Thursday the 23rd of January 2020. I can't believe we're nearly at the end of January. <laughs> it's gone so quick this month. Um, so this is for all signs, it's not sign specific, so it might or might not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. And as usual, leave the rest if it doesn't. Okay. What do we have? Please, Angel Spirits, Guides, what is the message? This is the Spirit Message deck. Okay, those flew out. We have Stand Your Ground and Reach Out. Stand Your Ground. Standing Your Ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. Reaching out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where it's offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it is presented to you. Big messages there. There's a message that there is support there when it's given. You see, this is like an angel hugging this person. Okay, angels, what is the message, please? What is the energy for the day? 20... <laughs> we have the cornucopia card you know standing your ground you might need some support here but it's leading to wishes coming true wishes fulfilled this is very much about choosing happiness as well as a reader i also believe that happiness is a choice however difficult it can be sometimes and we all can be challenged <laughs> Um, I do believe that happiness is a choice. So it is having the right mindset, the right approach. It can be about letting go of things that you need to let go of as well in order to really fulfill yourself in terms of happiness at every level. Cornucopia. Pick it up. Wishes fulfilled. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you and you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love or all of the above. When you receive the cornu cornucopia card, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant way. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you right now and spirit is applauding you for your efforts. Beautiful. You know, this is the 11 card as well. Now 1111 can also be about instant manifestation too. So whatever you're standing your ground on, yeah, I feel don't give in. This is staying, staying true, seeing something through as well. Okay, angels, what is the message, please? This is the angel answer card deck. What do we have? Yeah, no need to worry. <laughs> those of you that are worrying no need to worry excellent and I kind of feel if you worry less you'll probably find that things shift a lot quicker okay easier said than done I understand that <laughs> okay let's see what we get with the cards going to do one more. Mm. 
Okay, what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides? This is for Thursday, the 23rd of January for all signs. January 2020. What do we have? What is the message, please? Ace of Wands. Two of Wands, the Lovers. Knight of Swords. Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Moon. Obviously we do have the new moon in Aquarius that is happening on the 24th of January. I've done a separate reading on that so I'm not going to touch on those energies too much today. Uh, but do have a look at that reading if you haven't already because obviously we are approaching that moon. Um, okay. I feel somebody has... There is an opportunity now to really ignite your passions. In whatever aspect, you know, I'm kind of feeling that this might be love for some of you. Because uh, the Ace of Wands can be about your passions. There's potential around you now for, could be to connect with somebody, could be uh, an opportunity, an offer. The work that you've been doing is leading to this, the Ace of Wands. This is kind of getting to the next phase or the next level up or a new beginning or a new start. And there is a positive shift here. The Knight of Swords is just, you know, he reminds me of a hot knife cutting through butter. He just goes so fast towards his goal. He is just driven. There's no stopping him. There's a determination, there's a focus, there's real clarity in terms of decisiveness. Um, where he stands now, the Knights talk about the, you know, change, uh, the, the work that you've been doing is bringing change, the steps that you've been taking, now this can be an internal energy or an external one, but it is leading to a new beginning of some kind in your external environment generally. And it's been guided by the hand of God, the divine, the universe. You know, this is just going for it. This is just do it now. You know, it's a big message of stand your ground. Somebody really wants to fulfill their passions or start taking steps towards something that is going to bring them a greater fulfillment of their passions, who they are, what they stand for, what they enjoy. To start fulfill their potential as well, very good in terms of the career front too. Yeah, I just love that card, the Ace of Wands. It is electric. It is electric. I mean, you can see this kind of like, there's a, like a halo around the hand of God, the divine. Um, it just has that energy, you know? It is putting your energy into something that is, that is going to be more fulfilling in your life. You know, there's all about fulfillment with the wishes fulfilled. This is about our own fulfillment, our own happiness now. The Queen of Cups card of Cancer and we have the Two of Wands. This is somebody who is now not afraid to explore the unknown territory. I feel for some of you, you're choosing your path maybe in love or something that are doing something that you love. That can be the Queen of Cups as well. Um, yeah, and this is somebody who is making choices, decisions, they're at a crossroads. They understand that they're in a more solid and stronger position than they realize. It's dawning on them now. Things are becoming clear with that Knight of Swords energy. 
and they're in a position where they're looking at their world and say right how do I want my world to be how do I want to shape my world certainly in terms of love her family home what are the steps that I need to take now what effort do I need to put in in order to really fulfill my passions in order to 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 bring some kind of relationship to that blossoming fulfillment that it that I want um this is taking those first steps this is taking those first steps seeing where you're going seeing the vision for the future and taking the first steps towards that recognizing that there is real potential around you to do that when you take action you know sometimes when I see the knight of swords it's such a card of speed somebody might be waiting for you to make <laughs> make a move as well or you know because this is very much a card of taking action this is the you know this is very much like the Emperor this is Mars in Aries who who is at the first stages of fulfilling their empire uh, of building their empire um, they're taking the very first steps and I do feel for some of you you know with the world being in your hand you're in a stronger position than you realize could be to do in love in particular or an opportunity that will just bring you great joy and happiness now so that can be in career and money feeling it's more love with the lovers card being here as well because this can also be about choices and love I think somebody might have come in to your life from the past and they are offering you love this is a card of Gemini we had a card of cancer with the Queen of, of Cups six of cups can be about reconnection this can be about reconnecting with yourself your higher self all of this kind of energy as well but really I'm feeling this is somebody from the past is coming in to reconnect with who you are yeah to reconnect with you could be to offer you something um, because we have passion there's chemistry here the ace of wands is all about chemistry uh, instant attraction two of wands can be about you assessing do you want it don't you want it all of this kind of energy you know how do I approach this situation what path do I choose all of this kind of energy but I do think there is some kind of reconnection there is there is a strong feeling of somebody from the past that could bring all your hopes dreams and wishes or certainly a, a wish coming true uh, some fulfillment happiness emotional happiness you see we've got reach out here as well somebody might be reaching out to you or you need to reach out to somebody because the knight of swords can also be about communication like I said at the beginning the shift happens with your approach to something and this is about that approach this is a go-getting energy just do it you know trust your intuition absolutely trust your instincts in order to make choices decisions that you need to make but there's real love here um, could be somebody from the past could be an old love as well I'm not going to rule that out either the card of Gemini is ruled by Mercury as well so again I'm kind of feeling that somebody wants some kind of communication uh, some kind of conversation that needs to be had here on whatever level you know if it's an opportunity that brings you happiness you're making decisions and choices on if it's money or career you know that can be the same thing but I'm kind of feeling it's more love um, the moon energy is don't allow your fears your doubts don't hold back don't allow yourself to sink into being over emotional as well over um, let your emotions take in over so you just can't see a clear way forward that is the only message the moon energy is about trusting your instincts understanding that you're being given hidden blessings hidden guidance from the universe everything will become clear even though you don't realize it this is very much a time for trusting your instincts in order to understand how to move forward in order to make choices that you need to make in order for this new beginning in love happiness fulfillment whatever it is to come to fruition yeah 
there's there's that card of victory or success and conquering this whatever whatever doubts you have you'll overcome them you know i i just feel that this is a time to take action we've got so we've got quite a few ones energy in this card this is about taking action now opening the communication lines and everything else flows from there there's no need to worry don't don't back down don't let that moon energy stop you from moving forward or shrinking away remember the queen of cups is that card of cancer you know retreating into your shell <laughs> all of this kind of energy okay we have inner child the fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child playing keeps us young at heart do something silly and fun but stay safe yeah yeah i just think the approach you know the uh, children are so innocent they're full of awe and um, you know their approach is positive because they don't really know any different and it is that message now sorry there was too many cards that turned over there okay yeah you're on a magical gateway this is a threshold to something wonderful in love i feel it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown yet this is where the greatest rewards are it's time to step back and boldly uh, to step boldly forward without looking back yeah yeah step boldly forward yeah i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful day for you and i will see you next time thank you